Hi guys, welcome to the African Diaspora News channel. My name is Clarice Ndinge and today I bring you guys another fresh news story from the continent of Africa. So this very, very renowned British company called Glencore is under fire currently for corruption in Africa. So Glencore is an oil and gas exploitation company. They operate in several African countries and several European countries. Basically, they operate worldwide. They're into exploitation and exploration of crude oil. They're also into trade of crude oil and its derivatives. So recently, an um, investigation was carried out and it was discovered that Glencore has been paying millions and millions to government administrators in some African countries just so that they can have access to the crude oil in these countries. So it was revealed that Glencore has been flying private jets, like they have been sending their agents in private jets to go to some African countries and bribe the government officials in those countries so that they are going to give them access to explore the crude oil in the, in the countries. Now we are talking about Cameroon, Nigeria, Cote d'Ivoire, South Sudan, Equatorial Guinea. Those are the countries involved. So it was discovered that from 2011 to 2016, Glencore spent 26 million US dollars bribing officials in these countries. So the case was taken to court and Glencore pled guilty and they have been charged, you know, they have been found guilty in the courts in the UK and the courts in the UK has asked them to pay 200 and 325 million US dollars as fines for, you know, corruption for the corruption charges so this is just a very very sad scenario because of course we africans already know that most of these businesses are done under the tables we already know that a lot of times many government officials have collected bribes just so that you know crude oil can be explored and exploited and all of that and it is just so sad that in most of these communities if you come to most of the communities where this crude oil is being exploited the communities are living in poverty, like abject poverty. In a lot of these communities, there are no schools. In Bakasi in Cameroon, for example, where, which is a piece of land where there's this um, exploitation of crude oil going on, they, they almost do not have schools, they don't have hospitals, they hardly have potable water. But people come to those areas, make billions and billions of US dollars and, you know, exploiting the crude oil in those areas, but they cannot even as much as develop the areas. And the government officials who are supposed to protect the citizens of these areas, protect people in these communities and make sure that these things are theirs, are collecting bribe from these companies just so that they can, you know, do what they are doing and go without any questioning and without having to do what they have to do, which is take care of the communities. Because in most of these clause, these clauses in in the contracts according to how it is supposed to be or according to how it is in the constitution when a company comes to a certain community to exploit it they are supposed to there's a certain percentage of income that they make that they are supposed to use to take care of that community to do something for the community but because most of these companies come and they bribe these government officials there's nobody to follow them up and make sure that they do these things so they come and they make this money and these communities continue to live in abject poverty it would have been a good thing if after all of this you know, the courts, you know, passed the judgment and asked Glencore to pay these millions to these countries. It would have been a good thing also, you know, the, the, the best punishment for me would have been for Glencore to actually go to those communities and develop them or do something for those communities because it would have been good for that money to go to the communities where the crude oil is being exploited so they can be properly taken care of. But unfortunately, we are dealing with people who do not care as much as they have to care for the people they say they are working for, the people they say they are serving. It's just so, so sad. And it would have also been good if Glencore can actually call out the names of the government officials that they were bribing, just so that the people who are involved or all those who are involved in this kind of shady deals should be brought to the book. But who is going to follow up the case anyways? Let me know what you think in the comment section, guys. And you'll see me next time for another fresh news story from this part of the world.